Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Just move this just a little bit. Um, I just got done filming some readings for clients. So I'm just in like a good mood and I feel really good. And I'm gonna be ordering some sushi for dinner. So welcome to my video diary. It's like the middle of the afternoon. So I have like kind of nice lighting in this tarot room. I have my decks behind me. <laughs> um, look at this candle. It smells so good. I can love it. Oh, it's lavender scented. Um, okay, so I wanted to do the tour of my decks behind me, but I kind of don't want to do it right now because I have like a mess. <laughs> I have my tub with my spooky decks and I got to clean up my mess from my previous reading. So... I'm not really in the mood to do a tour of my decks. Let me spray myself with some sage spray. <laughs> um, so I didn't do my daily. Oh, it smells so good. I didn't do my daily, my, my diary thing this morning because my parents came over. So um, I had to like lock down this room. <laughs> So my parents came over, they were delivering the cat condo that I purchased for my gatos. Um, so I have one cat tree that was Luna's since she was a baby. And so of course that's hers. And because that's hers, Starla always wants to curl up in the top one because you know, cats like to be up high. And Luna doesn't want to share with her. So they would always, they start fighting over it. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to minimize the fighting and I'm just going to buy another cat condo so that there's two high perches and there's no more arguing and no more fighting with the cats. So, <laughs> so my parents came over, they dropped it off. We went to breakfast, so they didn't just like drop it off and then leave. So we went to breakfast and um, I got to hang out with them for a little bit and then we came home. So funny story. Well, it's a funny story now. But this morning, I dropped my phone in the toilet, you guys. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the toilet. So it was my fault because I was wearing my shorts. We were I was getting ready to leave with my parents. And I rushed to the bathroom and I forgot to take my phone out of my shorts, my pocket. And it was in my back pocket. And I usually never keep my phone in my back pocket. I just, I feel like someone can easily snatch it out of your back pocket and you wouldn't even know it. And so I'm really good with keeping my phone in my hand or I have it like in my bra, which I know is not a good idea either, but usually it's just, it's not in my back pocket. Well, <laughs> it was today and I forgot about it. So as soon as I was like taking the shorts off or, you know, pulling them down, I hear like a, a bloom, 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 like a, <laughs> it was like bump, 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 like you hear this, the little splash as it fell in the toilet. <laughs> And my phone is the 8 Plus, so it's the bigger phone. And so not all of it was submerged in the water, but it was significantly in the water. And I, I hesitated for like a second, literally a second, because I didn't even pull down my pants all the way. I, I just, I didn't even, I still had, I had them like undone and stuff, but I hadn't pulled them down. And, um, and so I hesitated, I grabbed my phone and I literally like walked out of the bathroom real fast. I went to my kitchen. My parents are like, what happened? I was like, I dropped my phone in the toilet and I grabbed my, um, I have a like mason jars where I put my rice and stuff in there. And so I grabbed my rice and I poured it in one of my pots and I submerged my phone in the rice, like all within a minute of it happening. So I feel like because I was so quick with that, um, that I saved my phone. Um, so my mom, my mom was like, how long are you supposed to keep it in the rice? And I'm like, I don't know, I've never done this before. I've just always heard that you're supposed to, that rice can absorb the water. So you're supposed to do that. So I've never done this before. I've never dropped my phone in the toilet and I hope to God I never do it again. Um, <laughs> I'm thankful that I didn't use the toilet first and then it happened, like it happened all before that. But I was mortified because my phone is TCM, um, TCM, the cackling moon. My, that is TCM, that's my phone. So I, <laughs> I have the maximum space on my phone. I can film my, my readings, my YouTube videos, everything is with my phone. So <laughs> when this happened, it was like my life, like TCM's future 
flashed before my eyes and all I could think of was like, I can't do the readings this weekend. I'm not gonna be able to do my video diaries. I can't text my husband when he's driving home from the academy tonight. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so bored today without my phone. Like all of those thoughts <laughs> were rushing through my mind. And the whole time my mom's like, well, let's go have breakfast and we'll, we'll come back and check on your phone. So I left my phone sitting in the bowl of rice for probably two hours. And when we got back home, um, I checked on my phone and my dad was like, well, if it's turning on, so that's a good sign. <laughs> so my phone was on, the face turned on. And um, and so I, I cleaned off the rice from it and I just went through with a paper towel like around the, the corners of the, the phone itself. And I have like the protective layer of glass, like the plexiglass cover thingy so it, it protects the actual screen of my phone so I feel like that kind of helped too because I had that and then um I had taken off the phone case when I put it in the in the rice but I feel like because I had a phone case on my phone too like that helped also but I was really nervous that the speaker was going to be fucked up or that the volume was not, wasn't going to be great or something was going to be messed up um, and so I was so, I was so upset. Like my mom knew I was upset, but I was trying to be positive. <laughs> and so my dad's like, well, it's turning on. So that's a good sign. And then he goes, um, call me on my phone and let me see if I can hear you. If you don't sound like you're underwater. <laughs> so I call him on the phone and it, and, it, and it works and I could hear him. He could hear me when I was talking. And then I took a, I snapped a photo and the picture came out fine. Didn't look all weird or anything. Um, the phone itself looked fine. There wasn't anything happening. Um, and so I was like, okay, I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> so then my parents left. I said bye to them. And I was in the bedroom with the cats. And the cats are using the cat trees now. And so I was with the cats. And I was like, you know what? Let me FaceTime my sister. So I FaceTimed with her. And I was talking to her for probably a good half hour. And the whole time my phone was fine, I was able to hear her, she was able to hear me, the FaceTime worked, the camera was working. So I was like, okay, I think everything's good. The last test that I had to do, that I did, was plug in the phone to the phone charger. Because I forgot, I was like thinking about it, I was like, oh shit, there's like, like the hole, like the inside of the phone right there, you know? So there was like a little piece of a grain of rice in, inside of it, and I was like, oh my god, if that gets wedged in there and stuck, like I'm fucked. Well, it came out, luckily. <laughs> so anyways, oh my God, I have like a, a knot in my hair. Um, so I plugged the phone in to the charger and it charged. So I was like, oh my God, thank God. I was so relieved and so thankful because <sighs> I've had this phone for two years, right? So when my husband and I got our phones, we, we went on the plan where for two years you were paying the phone off, right? So it's like an additional charge on your bill aside from just like your phone bill, like your plan. So for two years, I've been like paying this damn phone off because they're expensive. I mean, like if I had the cash, I would just have paid cash for it, but I didn't. So, <laughs> so for two years I had, you know, it was on my bill. And the end of this month, literally, I will have paid off my phone and, and my husband's phone. So starting October 1st, our phone bill would be significantly lower because we would no longer be paying our cell phones. We would just be paying the plan. And so I was just like so bummed thinking, oh my God, if I have to get a whole new phone, yes, I can upgrade right now, but I wasn't planning on it because I want a cheap bill for a little bit to help me save some money. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get a new phone. I don't want to go through this, but I need a phone because it's TCM. That's my business on there. <laughs> so, oh my God, it was just the, the ugliest feeling that I had the whole time I was eating breakfast. And to see that it's working and everything is good, I'm just so grateful. So I'm happy to, to announce that everything is good with my phone and the videos will still be coming up and I'll be able to do my readings this weekend. <laughs> um, and so I'm hoping that there won't be any other surprises or anything, but everything looks fine. Like the screen looks clear to me. Like I don't see anything wrong with it. And the volume seemed to be working. So I don't know, I'm relieved, but <laughs> I've never done that before. I, I heard about the rice method and my mom didn't even know about the rice method. She was just like, she was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, the rice 
it supposedly absorbs water, right? And she goes, yeah. Oh, and she goes, that's kind of smart. And so I'm just like, oh my God, I hope it works. <laughs> and I think the reason why it, like nothing major happened to my phone, or when my hairs is like in my mouth. I think the reason why nothing major happened to my phone was because it was only in the toilet bowl for like a second, like literally a second. Um, and I acted so fast, like throwing it in the rice bowl. But God forbid if it had happened when I was like out somewhere and I didn't have access to rice, I, I probably would have fucked up my phone. So <laughs> I that was a close call. I am very relieved that everything is good. So, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, so that was my morning. I didn't film. And after that, after my parents left um, and I was in the room with my cats after I FaceTimed with my sister, I just laid down and I was reading. Like, the book I'm reading, The Marriage Lie, I'm almost done with it. But, dude, that book is so good. So, you guys need to read it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then I was like, oh, I have to do my video diary. I haven't done one today. What am I going to talk about? And, yeah, so here I am in the tarot room. Um, but I'm not going to do the tour today because I just don't want to do it. Like I, I have so many, I have so many decks and I just, I, I, I want to go, I want to do a video where I like go through my collection, but I'm just like, I have so many decks. Like I just, do I really want to do that? Like go through them all. So we'll see. I've also been seeing on YouTube some of you guys are going through your decks and like choosing which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to give up, like which ones you want to sell and get rid of. And at first I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do that. Like, let me go through my collection and see if there's anything that I want to get rid of. But then like when I was really thinking about it, I really like everything in my collection. Like I love, I love my cards. I have such a soft spot for pretty much every single deck that I own. There's a couple that I'm like, eh, like I don't know if I wanna keep them anymore, but I usually, like nine times out of 10, if I sell a deck, I usually regret it later. That's just who I am. Um, so I, I don't know, I, I, I like to watch those videos <laughs> of other people like spring cleaning their decks, but I don't think I have the heart to, to give any of mine away right now. <laughs> And I know some of you guys are always asking, like, because you guys, you guys see my collection. So you guys are always asking, like, ooh, is there anything that you want to get rid of and stuff? And I'm just like, mm, maybe not now. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I don't know. What can we talk about today, you guys? I, have to, I think I need to put, like, another, just another, make it a little bit higher. Um, I don't know what to talk about, you guys. I'm looking forward to this weekend. My hubs is coming home tonight. So it's kind of nice to know he'll be in my bed tonight. <laughs> um, I have readings to do this weekend, so that's cool. That's gonna keep me busy. Um, so I'll be doing that Sunday and Monday. Oh, I lit my candle. So you guys remember my one of my fall, the fall haul, <laughs> or the, like where I was showing you guys the candles. So I lit the leaves candle that I got at Bath and Body and my dad, he smelled it when he came home, when he came over, he was like, oh, what's that smell? It smells good in here. And I was like, oh, that's one of my fall candles. And my mom even said it smelled good. And she was teasing me because she knows how much I love fall. So she was teasing me because I, um, I told her I've been like lighting my fall candles and it smells like fall in my house, even though it feels like a hundred something degrees outside. <laughs> And even she said it smells really nice. So my dad was like, where did you get it again? And I <laughs> I was like, I, I went to Bath and Body Works. And so I think my mom's gonna take him sometime this weekend so he could, <laughs> he wants to get a candle because he likes the way it smells. Um, so that was a compliment because my dad is a Virgo and um, he's very like, he, my dad loves a clean house. He loves the house to be clean and in order and the lawn to be good. Like he was plucking the weeds on my driveway because you know, like when you have those cracks on your driveway <laughs> and sometimes the weeds grow out of them. I'm always telling my husband when he's doing the lawn, like, can you pull the weeds from the, the cracks of the, the driveway? And he usually forgets. And then I, I forget, like I'm not paying attention to that. 
And so my dad was pulling the weeds out of the driveway and that's, I was laughing to myself because I'm like, that is total Virgo, like anal, analness right there. <laughs> like his Virgo tendencies were coming out. Um, so my dad's, a, he's, he's, he's all about perfection. He's a perfectionist. He's all about cleanliness and organization. So that's why when, before my parents come over, I go in a, cleaning frenzy um I don't it's I'm not saying like my house is dirty like I like to keep my house clean but I mean his level of clean and my level of clean are probably a little bit different <laughs> and um and so um when when I know that they're coming over I like to do like a quick run through of I vacuum the floors because he's also allergic to cats, so I don't want to make it too uncomfortable for him. So <laughs> I'll vacuum the floors and then um, I'll sweep. So I sweep and then um, I'll light a candle so that smells good. And so that's usually like, that's usually good. And then um, obviously like I'll clean the bathroom or whatever, but they don't stay that long. Like my parents are weird. They come over, they, they do their thing, we go out to eat. I've even offered to cook for them, but they're my, because my dad's allergic to cats, and I think he's more, he's not so much allergic to Luna unless he has direct contact with Luna. So when we were living at the house with them, um, Luna never went downstairs. So my, my dad didn't really have access to her as much. But when he comes to my house and now that I have Starla, I noticed, and I'm allergic to Starla too, um, that he gets allergic, his eyes get itchy. So I, I always have an allergy pill ready for him. <laughs> I'm like take this <laughs> and then I do my best to clean you know surface clean the house so that it's not you know crazy crazy but he still gets itchy eye but we don't stick we don't spend enough time in the house for him to completely like go full-blown allergy mode but it is kind of it does kind of suck like I don't like to see him get allergies from my cat but I get allergies from Starla too but I, I learn to live with it like eventually it won't be so bad like you kind of become immune to it so yeah so anyways um so <laughs> yeah my dad's Virgo tendencies were coming out so that was kind of funny when he complimented the candle because it was just like, yes. <laughs> um, anyways, what else can we talk about? I think this is just going to be a really boring video diary, you guys. Um, also, oh, I know. I know what I want to do. Um, I want to film a Q&A or like a relationship advice kind of a video with my husband since he's gonna be home so you guys if you have relationship questions that you would like advice on from me and my husband me and my husband have been married four years four years um, but we've been together 12 years so we have a pretty solid relationship um, so if you would like to ask us questions for like relationship advice, I wanna do a video where we give that advice. Um, so if you're interested, excuse me. <laughs> if you're interested, I'm gonna put a link to my contact page that's on my website where you could submit the question um, and no one will see you submitting it. So it's not like you're submitting it in the comments below or anything. Um, so you could submit it and the only people that will know that it was you that sent it would be me and my husband because we'll have access, I have access to the contacts. Um, but you could fill it out. You can, you, you could put in a name, you could put in a whatever name if you really don't want me to know, um, who you are, who you are, <laughs> but I'm not going to be announcing like so-and-so asked this, like, I'm not going to do that. But if I get enough questions, um, me and my husband can film a relationship advice video. So I really want to do something like that because I love love and I know he does too. And I think it would be kind of interesting to get a perspective um, on relationship advice from me and him. Because him and I are, we're not complete opposites, but we can be. Um, and I'm a water sign, he's an earth sign. Um, and he has more dominancy in fire in his sign and I don't, <laughs> well, I kind of do, but I lack earth and he has earth. So it's like what I lack he has and what he's lacking I have because he doesn't have a lot of water in his chart. So, um, I think it would be kind of interesting to, to do that. And I think it would be kind of fun to watch 
So if you have any questions that you would like to get some advice from either from myself or him or both of us, um, leave it in the contacts and I'll put the, the contact link in the description box and um, we'll film that this weekend so that I could have something like that up and I think it'll be fun. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. <laughs> put in a question um, and then I'll film that video and I'll have it up for you guys in the next day or two. Um, but other than that, I don't really have anything else to talk about. It's already 20 minutes in. It's been 20 minutes of nothing, me talking about nothing. So, <laughs> so, um, sorry for the boring video diary today, you guys, but honestly, it's like probably close to three o'clock now. I'm just going to go, maybe it's not even, maybe it's like later than three. I keep hearing the school buses go by. So I know the kids are out of school. Um, so I'm going to go probably order some sushi as an early dinner and just watch some Netflix and read. I want to finish that book <laughs> and then just wait for my husband to call me because he usually gets out. He, they release them like sometime after five. So he's on the road for about six hours. And I just, I always like to make sure I have communication with him because I don't like knowing that he's driving by himself for six hours. It, it it's scary, especially if he's tired. So um, yeah, that's the rest, that's the rest of my day. So anyways, um, I will talk to you guys soon and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video diary. Bye love.